They are looking pretty bad right now. So I'm torn on whether or not to exchange them. Oh my God. We got one ramen bowl to start with. She is absolutely stunning. vlog by the way i do have a tube top on <laughs> i'm not naked i promise youtube i'm not naked i have a top on i'm currently trying to decide what bottoms to wear i got two bottoms in from abercrombie that i'm gonna try on for you guys but i'm about to head out here and go get my nails done they are looking pretty bad right now they're so long two of them are like broken on an angle just a hot mess so yeah i'm getting my nails done and then afterwards i want to run some errands i still need to return that revolve dress from the weekend and then i think i want to stop by goodies and finally get the matching ramen bowl for our plates and bowl set that i've been wanting hopefully they have it in stock they're sold out online but I mean, they might have it in stock, but anyways, okay, let me show you guys the two pants that I got from Abercrombie and just kind of pick which one I want to wear today. So the first ones are these 90s straight jeans with an asymmetric waist. So two things on these jeans. They are an ultra high rise and I'm just now learning that if you go ultra high rise, even in the curve love, I would suggest sizing up one. I got these in true to size because I wanted them to be more fitted. They're not so uncomfortable that I would return them, but I know I would have been more comfortable in one size up. The only thing is I don't know if they would be as fitted through the legs. So I'm torn on whether or not to exchange them, but I do like the asymmetric waist. But the other thing that is making these a little bit tighter is that they are a zipper fly. And again, typically I feel like with Abercrombie, if their jeans are a zipper fly, it's better to size up one. They tend to run a little bit more snug when it is a zipper fly. So the zipper fly plus the ultra high rise is just a touch tight, but their jeans do stretch. I have noticed that like after a wear or two, they seem to have a little bit of stretch to them and they tend to fit a little bit better. So these are just like right on the cusp and I feel like once I wear these a couple times, they'll be fine, but it's just gonna be a little snug the first couple wears. So again, I'm on the fence on these, so I probably wouldn't wear them today. I do wanna think about them a little bit, but I do like the style. Like I said, it's just a little bit more snug than I would prefer. Then these are the second pants that I got. They're like, they're legging pants almost. They just slide right on with an elastic waist. And then what I love about them is that on the bottom, they're flared and they have a little slit in them. I don't know if you guys can see in the mirror. There you go. But you guys can see they're long on me. These are a medium short and these are still super long on me. I'm gonna wear chunky sneakers or some booties with a heel, I think, so that should help, but I expected them to fit a lot better lengthwise if I was ordering the shorts, so that is kind of a bummer, but I do like them overall. I do want to keep them. Just be warned if you want to get these and you're getting the short length, they still run a little bit long. Shoot, I never put a new sticky pad on my dashboard, so sorry about the weird angle, but on my way right now, for my nails, my nail girl called me and she's like, hi, you're still coming at 2.30, right? I'm like, yeah, and that was at like 2.10. I was like, I'm leaving right now, Stella. I'll be there on time, I promise. And she was like, yeah, I'm ready for you now. I'm like, well, I'm not physically there yet. <laughs> but I'm just having like a quick post-gym snack. I didn't vlog me going to the gym, but yeah, I went before I got changed and stuff. Oh 
Okay. I also have my little Bottega dupe because I want to do a photo. I'm going to try to, after I get my nails done, do a photo up on the top level. Hopefully no one will be there because I'm so awkward about doing tripod photos. It's like so much less embarrassing when someone catches you taking photos when you have someone else taking your photos than when you like have set up your own tripod and I hate doing it but just right now I have to. Trevor's busy working. Michelle and I haven't been able to shoot because obviously her wedding is coming up in a couple months so there was no way we were going to shoot between the bachelorette and her wedding. So I've been trying to do my best to take tripod photos and it's just been it's not difficult logistically, it's just like nerve wracking. I hate it when people see it, but I do want to get in a photo of this outfit. So hopefully it'll be pretty dead up on the top level at the parking structure. Starbucks drink. This is the Grande Brown Sugar Shaken Espresso, but I got it with the pumpkin cream cold foam on the top. It's all shaken up because I've been driving it in my car, but I want to give it a try. Give it a little stir. Oh my god. Wow, I'm so sorry you guys can barely see my expression because it's so dark. This is so good. You guys have to try this. Like, I don't know if I like the classic pumpkin cream cold brew or this better because fire. So good. Mm. It's definitely creamier. It's got more body to it because it does have the brown sugar syrup in it. So that like adds to it, but phenomenal. Actually, you know what? This may be my go-to. I'm just going to call it right here. So photos are done really sad I don't have my sticky pad so I'm just gonna make this really quick especially since the battery's dying but I also get really annoyed when people like vlog and drive like this like holding the camera I don't know why I'm trying to move this place is empty it's not like someone's waiting for my parking spot but anyways now I'm gonna go to goodies get the ramen bowl okay just resting you on the dash but yeah gonna go get the ramen bowl and then I do want to order ramen and then I think We'll also go get crumble cookies. I haven't had them in a couple weeks. Just because like the last couple weeks there's only been one flavor that I've wanted and that's just not worth it for me to go because one cookie is like six bucks and it's out of the way. But goodies is by crumble and there's at least two flavors that I want. So it's worth it for me to go get it because then I can get the pack of four, get Trevor his chocolate chip one and then I'll just pick one other one to try because you know why not? So we'll go do that and then head home and hopefully I can time the ramen so it'll be there or close to getting there by the time I get home. So we're back and my ramen should be getting here in the next like 10 minutes or so but I thought I'd do a little haul for you guys of everything that I got. I stopped by the Nespresso store. I got a refill of our Peggio pods. And then I haven't gone to try this before. This is their pumpkin spice or pumpkin spice cake pods. So I thought that that would be fun for fall. Actually, I want to see what these look like. Yep, just orange. Makes sense. Did I show you guys my nails? Like actually show you? So I... I just realized. So I got brown French tip. Thought it was very fall. Then from Crumble, which I haven't gotten in so long. I don't remember the names of these off the top of my head, so I'm going to kind of guess. This one is, I think it's their confetti one because they're celebrating five years. This one's their it's like a double chocolate. They said like dark and decadent, I think is the name chocolate chip and then this one is strawberry milk. This is the one that I've like just kind of added on just to add on. The first two are the ones that I really wanted to try. So I'll probably have that for dessert later after my crumble. And you guys, I'm so excited tonight and or premieres, which oh, guys, I can't tell you how excited I am for and or. I've been 
waiting for it. It looks so good. If you're a Star Wars nerd, you get it. Probably everyone else is like, what the hell is Andor? <laughs> but anyways, okay, and then from goodies, by the way, I just like, I love the fact that they give you the little tote. I think it's so cute. I got my ramen bowl and I got chopsticks. Michelle always gets this from goodies and I've never gotten it. And just like the, like last couple times I got anything Asian for takeout and like they don't give me chopsticks. I'm like, wait, I want chopsticks. So I just got myself a pair and then I got one ramen bowl to start with. I might go back and get a second one, but for right now, just what with the one, it matches all of our other plateware and stuff and i was thinking about it and this could also be used for salad because it's nice and big and you can like toss everything together in there so multi-purpose but i'm gonna wash this off and the chopsticks and then like i said my ramen should get here in the next like 10 to 15 minutes wow you guys are so high but i got in my ramen i ordered from slurp and ramen it's my first time ordering from them um, washed my ramen bowl and then got my chopsticks I'll lower you. I don't know why I did this. This is too hard to see any. I also changed, as you guys can see. Oops. There we go. Little baby Yoda. Felt it was appropriate for the Andor premiere, which I'm not watching yet. I'll wait till Trevor comes home. But it's unboxed. My ramen. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, what's the top? Oh, yes. I ordered from this place because they do a side of fried rice. It's like hit or miss whether or not places do that then i got the tonkatsu ramen there's the noodles the pork belly and then green onions and then since i'm home i might as well use some of this stuff it's from trader joe's they're black garlic i like to use this whenever i have ramen so pop some of that in then The tonkatsu broth. Ow, that's hot as balls. Ooh, that broth is hot. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely stunning in my ramen bowl. I'm gonna add some roasted sesame seeds. bring some of these toppings to the surface you can't see anything she is absolutely stunning then i'm gonna put probably about half of this fried rice in here i don't want all of it got the fried rice in here you know i was coming in with some soy sauce that was a given and there's my dinner because I haven't had a proper lunch. So this is both lunch and dinner, which is partially why I decided to go for the fried rice with the ramen. So that was a bigger meal. And also, I mean, I typically will get fried rice with ramen, but I love that the plateware is matching. It just makes me feel like I have my life together, you know? Thought I might end off the vlog with a little crumble taste test. Although by the time this vlog goes up, these flavors will have been done. But you know what? That is... That's just how I do things on my channel. I taste test things for you that aren't available because I'm considerate. But anyways, and or, we only got through two episodes so far because Trevor had to go to bed and we also wanted to watch Dahmer, which so good, but so freaking creepy. Like Evan Peters killed it, no pun intended, but also pun very much welcome. But yeah, so and or, <laughs> I was so, so fucking excited for this show i look very menacing with the knife even though it's a butter knife i was so so excited for this the fact that it was gonna be like grittier it was gonna be a harder look at like the smaller stories in star wars you know like we see a lot of the skywalker family but i was excited to see how the empire and everything affected other communities and stuff in the galaxy. Sorry, we're nerding out while I try this. If you want to know how these flavors are, I'm holding you hostage with Star Wars talk. But yeah, I was really excited. And it's not to say that I don't like it. It's just, it's moving really slow in the first couple episodes. If it 
picks up in the third episode then I'm so sorry for my preemptive rant like I said Trevor can only stay up for the first two tonight but yeah I was so excited for this because they're using practical sets which you know like everyone's relied on CGI so heavily over the last few years so I was excited for that aspect that they were like kind of getting back down to the roots of everything and I don't not like it I just need the story to pick up a little bit more I understand we're laying down backstory and stuff but you know let's let's get a move on it they're like the opposite of what House of the Dragon did where they just like threw too much story at you too quickly and or I feel like I'm getting too little story <laughs> at a time I need a good balance between the two but anyways okay this is the confetti one mm -hmm. this tastes like a freaking Dunkaroo cookie I'm a fan that is possibly one of my favorites ever because I love Dunkaroos wow that's good by the way the reason why you guys see me eating crust first whenever I do a taste test is because the middle is my favorite part so I like to save it for last. Then the one that I just got because I need to film the box. This one is the strawberry milk. Here's this one. You guys saw these earlier. There's like white chocolate chips in here. I'm not a fan of white chocolate. It's okay. I'm gonna take it or leave it. I could not not want another bite but I'm not dying for it so sorry you guys the battery is full I don't know where it cut off but I'm trying the dark chocolate one or the chocolate on chocolate one and I literally thought that I had chocolate all over my nails <laughs> but it's my manicure it's good I'm not blown away it tastes like a chocolate chip brownie which I love I love chocolate chip brownies, so not mad at it. I definitely like it more than the milk one, but not as much as the confetti slash Dunkaroos one, but it's still really good. Mm. Knowing me, honestly, I'll probably only finish the confetti one. Like, I'll pick up the other two, but I'll eventually tap out and just throw it out. Or do what I did with the last box from three weeks ago. I need to throw that out. I never finished the cookies, and they're just sitting up there. I haven't been finishing the crumble cookies, because I'll just, like, cut off a small piece of each, like, every once in a while. And I never get through a full cookie unless it's, like, one that I absolutely am in love with, which, like I said, that confetti one I will definitely finish. But anyways, thank you guys for spending this fall day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. We are decluttering my closet, so if you guys love a good closet declutter slash purge, Stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed.